Thank you for the introduction. So in low dimensional topology, we care about three manifolds. And I'll begin by writing down an example of a three manifold. So this is called a brie square and homology sphere, sigma PQR. It's defined as the zero locus of x to the p plus y to the q plus z to the r equals zero. And we're going to intersect this with the five sphere in the complex three-dimensional space. So this is a closed-oriented, smooth three-manifold. And if you compute its homology, you'll find that it has the same homology as S3. So S3, in some sense, is the simplest closed three-manifold. And on the level of homology, sigma PQR, where PQ and R are relatively co-prime integers, has the same homology as S3. And it's an example of an integer homology three-sphere. So we'd like to understand how complex integer homology spheres can be up to some notion of complexity. And the notion of complexity that we'll use to study these three manifolds is called homology cobordism. So this consists of the set of integer homology three spheres modulo an equivalence relation, which we'll call homology cobordism. So again, Y here is a oriented, smooth, closed three manifold with the same homology as S3. And we're modding out by an equivalence relation where we say Y1 and Y2 are homology cobordant. If there exists a four-dimensional cobordism with boundary y1 union minus y2, where minus denotes the orientation reverse. And here, w is a compact oriented smooth four manifold, which on the level of homology looks like the homology of each of the boundary three manifolds. So if you take the natural inclusion map of a boundary three manifold into W, it will induce an isomorphism on the homology. In other words, W on the level of homology looks like a homology cylinder. It looks like Y times an interval. Yes, so here I do want y to be oriented. Thank you. So under this equivalence relation, theta 3z becomes an abelian group. Under the operation of connected sum. So connected sum is an operation given two three manifolds. I can take their disjoint union. I can delete a copy of B3 from each of the three manifolds. And then I can glue them together along the boundary. In this group, S3 is the identity. And inverses are given by orientation reversal. So one question that's natural to ask is, what about theta n z? So you can take this group of integer homology n spheres, modulo 
n plus 1 dimensional homology cobordism. And it turns out that in every dimension n not equal to 3, that group will be trivial. And that's a result due to curvature. So theta 3z, the homology cobordism group, is really measuring something special about three and four dimensional topology. We know that, in fact, theta 3z is a non-trivial group due to the existence of a homomorphism called the Roclean homomorphism from this group theta 3 to Z mod 2. So Roclean constructs a surjective homomorphism to Z mod 2, which tells us that this group is non-trivial. For example, the Roclean invariant of sigma 2, 3, 5, one of these Brescorn homology spheres, is equal to 1 mod 2. Um, and sigma 235 has a special name. It's known as the Poincare homology sphere. And the next question to ask is how complicated is theta 3z as a group? So we know that it's a large group. Feruda and Fintuchel Stern. using techniques developed in the 1980s called gauge theory show that theta 3z contains a z infinity subgroup. Generated by a family of Brescorn homology spheres. And in 2002, Foyshav constructed a homomorphism from theta 3z to the integers, giving a splitting of a z summand. Theta 3z has a z summand. And Foyshav's proof uses Yang Mills theory. Another reason why theta 3z is interesting to classical three-dimensional topology is its relation to triangulations, so the triangulations of manifolds. Manolescu proved in 2016 that if an element of theta 3z has non-trivial world clean invariants, then that element y is not two torsion in this group. And this was enough to give a disproof of the triangulation conjecture in high dimensions. In other words, it shows that there exists in every dimension bigger than or equal to five topological manifolds that are non-triangulable. And going back to these two theorems of Furuta, Fintuchel, Stern, and Foyshav, well, we know theta 3z has a z infinity subgroup. We also know it has a z summand. So a natural question that had been asked for a long time is whether theta 3z contains a z infinity summand. And in joint work last year with Irving Dai, Jen Hom, and Matt Stafrigan, we show that indeed Theta 3z contains an infinite rank summand generated by a family of Brescorn homology spheres.
So our technique that we use is, involves studying a package of three manifold invariants called the Hagrid flare homology and the involutive Hagrid flare homology of a three manifold. So I'll just give a brief summary of what those invariants look like. Given a three manifold, you can associate to it a chain complex, which is denoted CF minus of Y. This is called the Hagrid flair chain complex. And it's a chain complex over a polynomial ring F2U. And it was defined in the early 2000s by Oshroth and Sabu. So this Hagrid flair chain complex is an invariant of the three manifold up to the chain homotopy. And it's had many applications to the study of three-dimensional topology. And in, for example, it leads to a reproof of Forshaw's result that there is a Z sum end of theta 3Z. Recently, Hendricks and Manolescu enhance the data of ha the hagard flair chain complex to give us a map iota, which is an involution up to homotopy. So iota squared is homotopic to the identity. And together, the pair CF minus of Y, together with this map iota, is an invariant of the three manifold and contains a lot of in powerful information about the topology of the three manifold. And in particular, you can extract information about the homology cobordism class of the three manifold by studying the pair of CF minus of Y together with the iota. And in our proof, we do an intricate study of the involutive Hagrid flair chain complexes, uh, the pairs CF minus and iota, in order to construct an infinite family of homomorphisms from theta 3z to the integers. Thanks for listening. <laughs>